Hi guys, it's Joy. It's that time. I defrosted the durian and to eat it. Durian is a high fat fruit, so it's like an avocado, a little bit less fat than that. Um, I'm actually going to pull up information about it because I'm not that great at articulating on the spot, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> okay. All right. So durian is typically found in Asian countries or tropics, the tropics, but more Asian countries. Um, it has, it is banned from a lot of places in Asia because it has such a pungent odor. Um, the odor has been uh, compared to dirty socks and onions. <laughs> Doesn't that sound delicious? Oh my gosh. But it has this sweet um, custardy, it's like a custard. Um, here it says, the smell evokes reactions from deep appreciation to intense disgust. Um, <laughs> uh, it's been described variously as rotten onions, turpentine, and raw sewage. I mean, I just don't agree with that. It's because it's a high sulfur fruit. So, it, it, but once you taste it and you taste the custardy and the sweet side, and, and if you get a really good one, this is why being with someone that's had one before is really great because um, you can know if it's good or bad. Because if you try one and it's bad, and then you're like, well, this stuff is crazy disgusting. Why does anybody eat this? So let me get Alright, so here we'll move that. This is the pod that I had to cut off so it would fit in my fridge. Um, typically when I cut them, this one I had already done, but when I cut them I just cut down the center and then you can just pull it open and it just comes. So this is just one little pod and or a half of a pod and you see how creamy it is? A lot of times people will blend it up and it'll be like um, um this is a good one. I wish all you newbies could try it because you would believe me. You would agree. So the name durian is actually the king of fruit. It's also an aphrodisiac, so it does something funny. Mm -hmm. It does something really funny to people. <laughs> it's like chocolate. <laughs> mm. Really, really good. <laughs> Can you tell it's delicious? I'm gonna have to make this video quick so I can get down to it. Okay, so, mm, in the States, <laughs> so in the, in the States, most likely find this at an Asian market. That's where you're gonna find it. I don't think you'd actually find it anywhere else unless there's some new agey type restaurants that will have uh, durian shakes. Um, Aren't you guys all wanting to try this right now? You can buy it in packages where they've already, it's not the whole fruit. And this whole fruit is expensive. This is a delicacy. Um, these are really spiky and the trees grow 100 feet tall. So it's actually really dangerous for the farmers because if this falls, it could kill someone. But this durian was $11. So, which this price wasn't too bad. I've had them a lot more expensive than that. Mmm. Mmm. But this is a good one. So, it's a delicacy. It's not something I eat every day, or I probably eat it once every three months, maybe. It's probably my favorite party fruit. I love to bring it to parties or have a party around it because A, it's an aphrodisiac, so everyone gets all ooh, loopy. <laughs> and second of all, it's just fun because it's different. I mean, you know, a bunch of you guys haven't seen it. And so the, the key with durian is to just, just trust, <laughs> to just trust, to try it first before you get too caught up in the smell of it. It has a little bit of a stank, but once you taste it, you associate, you know what? It's probably like beer for a lot of people, right? The first time you smell beer or I can only speak for myself. The first time I smelled beer, it made me want to gag. And I never understood why anyone drank it. I guess it's not a good example because I've never liked beer. <laughs> but for some people, it's somewhat of an acquired taste. So once you taste it, then you associate that smell with the yumminess of what you think of the beer. It's very strong. I mean, this one here is uh, kind of a vanilla -y. Some of them have more of a lemony. There's, so many di there's a bunch of different kinds, and so you get different flavors. It's like a mango. You know, you get... You get the Tommy Atkins, which are kind of stringy, and then you get the really um, 
smooth and delicious champagne ones. This has, uh, so in the, the Dorian world, it's the same way. But this one, this one here is very vanilla-y. Mmm. And I'm just very delicious. So it is my goal at one point to go to Thailand. I need a fresh one. That's going to be something on my bucket list. Maybe just eat the whole season. Mmm. I could film that. That'd be fun, huh? <laughs> anyway, it's just something different. You can get it at your Asian market. And like I said, I'd probably buy a packaged one um, instead of this big one first. Unless you're having a party. If you're having a party, they're totally fun. They're fun to bring out. You want to make sure it's fully defrosted. You don't want it frozen at all. So the frozenness takes away. The, the more defrosted it is, the more stank it has and the more flavor it has. So they're really good. But anyway, that's the durian. See? See the seed? Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe Mama has a knife. So I'm just gonna go right in the middle of the pot here. Okay. Then I'm gonna split. And then pull the pot out. So see that creaminess? Uh, the durian dance. 